<laughs> so. <clears throat> <laughs> the birds are very early today. I got woken up. By them as usual. But. <laughs> today. I don't like to set alarms. If I can help it. There's so many years of having set alarms with you know, getting up doing stuff with the kids. And... But today. Ooh, excuse me. <laughs> oh, don't. Um, <laughs> the bird call that woke me up sounded like an alarm. <laughs> and it was going. It's not that one, it's a different one. It's very similar to that one. It's going. It's quite, that sounds like an alarm. It's quite irksome and, and hilarious at the same time. It sounds similar to that one, but it wasn't that one. It was a different one. It was just flown off. I'm going to wake somebody else up. This tree here kind of looks like a palm tree, but it's not. I don't know what it is. It's got little things in it, it's got seedy things, <laughs> fruity things. Um, and then this little hole here. There. <laughs> As I turned around, I was having a little chat about the the alarm. Robin just over my eyes looked and there's just little movements in the tree. And he just popped his little head out like a little cuckoo. <laughs> I don't know what he's been doing in there. Hmm. Maybe if I turn around you might be able to see the, the birds. That's one. I'm sure there was a dragonfly flying around here last night again. And camera's not picking up as many of the birds as there are. <laughs> that one comes in just to make a show. <laughs> Don't worry, we're here. I come in closer. <laughs> I have to cut some of this back today. It's starting to get a little bit unmanageable. It's okay. It's just, it's closing in. We did some of the garden last week, I think. Sometime last week. Or was it a couple of days ago? I think it was just a couple of days ago. And, um... <laughs> It's definitely helped. It's definitely made the garden more accessible. But this bit, it's like my wild bit. I didn't want to have to cut it back. <laughs> but I'm going to have to. The neighbours have started cutting things and throwing them over. See that big stick there? <laughs> That's where they've, they've cut it. And they've thrown it over the little fence thing. And that, yeah, it's all encroaching now. 
was an actual alarm. But that's annoying on a Sunday for most people. Trying to sleep. <laughs> oh. Oh. Thank you for the wake up words. <laughs> this one's eating the damsons again. What can you see? It's the blackbird that keeps eating the damsons. It's getting the last few off the top. They've all been going a little bit mouldy and fermented, so. Mm. So they've been taking the last few. Oh, they're arguing now. <laughs> One tried to take, I like to move in on the damsons. <laughs> and the other one's like, fuck off, my damsons. There's a whole tree of damsons. You could have, you could share. That's the one comes in. <laughs> Grand horizons. Oh yeah, he's found another one. There you go. He's he's found another one. Found another patch. I wonder if you can see. It's not great on the phone. Lion. Yeah, he's found his own damsons. He's like, fuck you, dude. I found my own. Your damsons weren't even that nice anyway. I know way tastier. Oh, you dropped it. Go get another one. It's fine. Yeah, there you go. Get that one. <laughs> Coffee time. I'm a little bit sad that I didn't pick up the bird alarm. But that's okay. <laughs> More arguments. Birds are Larry this morning. Oh, I dropped another one. I think you're gonna have to just eat the ones on the floor, dude. Or they're after Shiloh yesterday. I'd be careful. My cat. Very rarely does she come out anymore outside. She used to be outside all the time. And she used to kill pretty much everything in her path. And she got really old. And she spent a lot of her time curled up next to her food. <laughs> she'd sleep and then eat and then walk the very short distance to the tray and then she'd come back and eat. Yeah, yesterday she's like, oh, I'm going outside. I've had a little boost in my energy. I'm going out. Oh, there's a mouse. I'll have that. Fuck yes. I was quite devastated. <laughs> I know it's a circle of life and everything, and that's what we do. We eat things and we live, we die. We experience happiness and we experience pain. And you know, the full spectrum of everything. It's all okay. Pain and suffering and joy and happiness and but yeah, I was I was quite sad. Actually, came home. She was just jumping on Mousy. <laughs> Mousy. <laughs> Poor Mousy. There are others. There are other Mousies. There's many in there. I'm sure. I've seen at least three. The show shall go on. <laughs> wow. That was a nice start to the dawning. Thank you, birds. And the car alarm. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. 
It must be infuriating for anybody that is actually trying to sleep that maybe doesn't get to lie in or, you know, that wants to. I don't really get to lie in, but that's because my brain and body just don't, they just don't. I think it's like eight o'clock. It's the latest I've slept in for years. <laughs> and that was a bit like, whoa, it's eight o'clock. What the fuck's happened? Am I okay? Am I sick? <laughs> Am I ill? Am I getting ill? <laughs> I slept until eight. Thank you for sharing the birds with me this morning. I hope it brought a smile to your face. And you got to mm, wake up with the birds too. I wonder what they'll think when I cut back some of their trees today. I'm gonna have to. The garden's getting smaller and smaller by the day. <laughs> This part is now, the other part looks way better now, I've cut that back. Which is ironic, it's like really annoying because I thought, oh, like Mousy will be way more safe now we've put brambles and rose branches on the compost pile. It's way safer now, he's not out in the open eating. Nope. Fuck knows what happened. Oh well. <laughs> hope you have a blessed day and I hope your dawning is beautiful <sighs> right coffee coffee <sighs> I love you